buddy, it's okay. Hey. It's all right. Uh, hey. Oh, hello there. That's right, I'm the Corbin. I'm dozen something, and you're watching. <laughs> All right, what we have is a very big treat for you today. You're not funny, and nobody likes you. Straight from Amazon, overnighted. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't say anything on the front. Well, that's disappointing. Um, this is. The Echo Show 15. Now, as some of you know from previous videos, I have tablets set up throughout my house on the walls as digital photo frames, but also as uh, main hubs, essentially, that tell me the weather, uh, if I got an email, my schedule. Also, look at my... My this no longer have to use those. I use those because they make great picture frames and they're all exception of my fire tablet, which uh, so far I can see it's got a picture frame. Wow. It's got notes. It's got a calendar. You can do a shopping list or set up your smart home stuff. Oh my. Oh my. I keep forgetting I have an overhead camera, and I can see this. This is beautiful. Like, look at that. It looks just like a picture frame. Look at it. I mean, you could put anything you want on this screen. And it's, uh, it looks like it's base amount compatible. I'm, I was kind of hoping I could just hang it on the wall. Oh, look at this. Base amount, I can just hang it on my wall. I love that. I really love that. You know why? Because I love walls. I mean, hanging things on my walls. So. I love lamp. I love lamp. Anything I can unplug to plug this. I guess I gotta take the plastic off, which is disappointing. I wanted to keep the plastic on as long as possible because I am a schlob and I will mess everything up. God, I really like the design. It's making noises. <sighs> what? What the f That's weird. Oh my God, it no- Skynet begins to learn at a geometric rate. It becomes self-aware at 2.14 a.m. Eastern Time, August 29th. It was preparing registration, and now it says my name. It, yes, it's me. Skynet fights back. Yes. <laughs> Without the yawn. Oh, it, it's restarting. Chewy! It says it's ready. This is gonna take some setting up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that all off camera. Uh, I'm gonna go back to my office and work on it. And we will go from there. I'll show you guys how it's all set up once I have it all set up. That's a promise. All right, I've had this for a few months. Great picture. That's a lie. This thing sucks. It really sucks. I, I, if you want a digital picture frame, um, when these go on sale, they're actually really cheap for that. Uh, the problem you run into is it keeps pulling up, you can see here, family updates, oh my, I have all of that turned off. It should stay a digital picture frame. And then it just cycles through the same ones over and over and over again. Every once in a while, you'll get a, a different batch, but like I could sit here and scroll through these and I'll run across the same ones a few times. Now watch it won't do it, but I'll run these and I had where I run through and turn like pushes over into this, so I don't know why it does these things. But Okay, 
apparently now it's going to work fine. The other thing, no, right there, right there. It went right back to that image. There you go. You see it, you see it, you see it. Thank God. It's also not very responsive. Um, like, click on it. There we go. I had to do two clicks to get it to go only into screensaver mode. And then now I'm like, oh, I want to bring back my, my widgets bar. Oh, it takes it all the way over and takes it all the way back. I can't, can't keep it. Again, again, there it is. This thing's stupid. Uh, you can do your smart home favorites instead of having different buttons. Back to home, that's the way to get, again, get it back to home, you do this. So if you accidentally go, it literally just reloaded the same one. You saw that. You can put in a whole bunch of different things in here. It's got my calendar in here, that's not a problem. It, it doesn't do enough to let you customize it. I'd love to change the color scheme and all that, but right now, family updates again. All that is turned off. This thing pisses me off more than it makes me happy. That's what she said. And a lot of times, I just pull it into this and leave it. Sometimes I get up and it's just black and it doesn't have anything. So as far as digital pictures frame go, this is a cheap, this is really, really upsetting me. I'm gonna go in here and fix this. So I've turned this off a billion times. Uh, it is home content and I have everything off. Family updates just turned on. I don't want family updates, okay? Shopping recommendations. I've turned this one off three times. Themes. That's a new one. Maybe it's up. it ran an update. But this thing is so irresponsive. It sucks. Again. What the hell? This is on shuffle, by the way. So, I don't understand this at all, and it refreshes again to that. That image is in the Amazon pictures one time. Don't buy this. I didn't even touch the screen, and it went back to it. Okay? Didn't even touch it. How terrible is that? I'm so glad this is happening so you guys can see it. It doesn't change any of the information if someone else walks up, because I had it set to where if there's a guest, it doesn't show my calendar. If it show, if I'm here, it shows my calendar. It always shows my calendar. So I have no idea. It is a very great image quality, and you can go on Netflix, you can go on Amazon Prime. If you really want to stand in your halt, Amazon fix that. I just, I don't advise this for anyone. If you want a digital picture frame, it's cheap for it. God, I hate that it just keeps restarting the same same images over and over again. Um, darkness. Sometimes it doesn't respond to anything. Sometimes you'll tap on the screen and it won't load anything. Oh, there we go. Do you want a Fanta? Quick here the carbon. Oh. It finally works. I really wish I could customize the smart home favorites a little bit more, that I could put different buttons in here. You only get this small little list right here. So you can add all this stuff on here, and that's it. Now one feature I do like is Echo Show Me Front Porch Camera. Okay. And it takes a while. But there it is. It, you, it, it takes a while because of whys. I can see it from my front door. Um, that's that's always cool, but I can do this. And now I have everything, but I can only drag it to th where the picture is. I can't put it over here. If I could have these dedicated, this spot here that's empty, to just that camera or my other camera, that'd be awesome. I can't do both cameras at one time in this small mode. So, in reality, buy yourself a Fire tablet. And then load Fully Kiosk Browser on it. And then you can get a screensaver that is just your photos. Um, I have that set up over there. I also have it with a dashboard 
that makes sense. While I do love that this has the screensaver going, and I can touch this stuff, it's so limited, and I have, like, this little tiny window that I have to scroll through, and I can only have so many things on. It doesn't let me do a full thing, it doesn't let me put buttons up here, it's stupid. Now here, you can see I have my security cameras running, and I have the weather, I have my time, I have uh, basic lights that, uh, and, and things that I want to turn off right away. Um, this was just actually a prototype of action tiles. I spent the money, I think it's like 30 bucks, you get unlimited action tiles for your life. I definitely suggest doing that. I have this running through the kiosk browser and you can see it's gonna go into photo premium. I did pay for that through the Google store so I have it uh, unlimited and it does this until there's motion. This is this is what it should be. This is the 8 inch fire tablet. I got it on sale for $35. Uh, every once in a while it freezes up because these things aren't meant to run forever. This is what I would buy. Instead of doing the uh, the other one, do this. So would I buy this again? No. No, not at all. Not at all. Not one bit. I would never buy this again. Would I recommend it to you? Only if you want a faulty big screen picture frame. I will say that it's not bad if you only want to see, you know, maybe... 15 images constantly repeat. It will freeze, it will get stuck, and it will repeat the same images over and over and over and over and over and over. Don't buy it. Get a tablet. You gotta run the wire anyways for the digital picture frame, so you might as well run a tablet wire. They have all sorts of mounts for super cheap, and you can get a tablet for super cheap. Most of the digital picture frames, they're like, what, 100 bucks for a decent one? These go on sale, 150, $180. They're a lot bigger than the ones that you can get. Um, I think the average one's like 10 inches. These are 15. Spend $70 on, a, on something that matters, on a tablet, a fire tablet. Fire tablets are a little bit locked in, but they work. And if you lose power, they still work. Also, you want to take a dump and you're like, oh, I forgot my phone. Just take it right off the wall and go into the bathroom. And now you have all of your stuff. You can also use them as, uh, you know, second authentication or whatever. So that way if your phone gets stolen, you have a tablet on your wall in your house and you can be like, ah, I can still two-form authentication. I can still do that. You can see that this has been frozen on this image for quite some time. Don't buy it. That's all I gotta say.